Now you have read about the writing process and you've also read Shitty First Drafts, which is such an amazing piece. So let's get a little bit of um, information about the writing process from the perspective of uh, college composition. So let's look at a couple of memes that I think actually say something really important. Um, first off, I love this. What if I told you I did the outline and rough draft after the final paper? Honestly, that's so relatable and it's something that makes sense because a lot of times you've taught, you've been taught in high school, oh, you have to start with your um, pre-writing that's very specific. You have to get your draft done. Um, you have to have an outline. But in honest, in real life, people have different ways of getting the final thing accomplished. Um, so this is a real situation. This this expresses a real sentiment. Here's another one. Uh, I love this writing process. I just start typing. Honestly, that's another way to do the writing process. You just get started. You know, it doesn't matter if you have any kind of formal pre-writing done or if you have any kind of direction in your mind. If you sit down and get started, that is a valid way to start your own writing process. Um, and then also, I like this because it's so perfect. People think that writing needs to be something that they know exactly what to do. A lot of people are like, writing is so hard, I'm not good at it. But the reality is that writing is a struggle for everyone who writes because what you're doing when you're writing is creating something totally new. And that's amazing. When you read, you're just reading what's there. When you're doing a problem, you're responding to information that already exists. When you're writing, you're creating new stuff out of nothing. So nobody knows what they're doing when they're writing and that's okay. And then lastly, I just really like this because it actually is more accurate than what we would like to imagine. The writing process really is a whole lot of this. And that's not just actually like looking for good information. Sometimes you need to take breaks. And while you're taking a break, you can have your mind be churning in the back of your brain. You think it's procrastination, but in a way, a break is good for your brain. Then also, I mean, come on. Eating is a huge part of my writing process. You got to go to that kitchen every once in a while and grab some snacks. Um, then here's where you're actually doing the writing. I love this typing V and deleting it. 100% relatable. So whereas you think maybe it's a formal process, what we actually realize is that the writing process doesn't start and end with the way that we think it does. You learn in school that pre-writing is what you should start with, then you do your writing, and then you do your rewriting, and that's it. It starts one, two, three, you're done. In reality, you might start here and then go back and realize you need more information, and then when you're we've found more information, you rewrite what you've already done and you go back to writing some more. These are things that you will do throughout uh, any kind of writing, and by writing I mean it could be literally an essay, but it could be a painting that you're doing that's really important. It could be a song that you're writing that's really important. It could be a blog post or an internet article or anything. So pre-writing just involves uh, brainstorming, research, looking around. Pre-writing is also thinking. Sometimes when you're walking to and from the train to go to school or when you're at the grocery store, you might be thinking about what you want to write and working it out in your head. Talking to others is also absolutely a form of pre-writing. Then we know writing is finding a way to get it out. So whether you're typing an essay or whether you are um, composing a song, it's the actual singing of it and putting it on a recording device or the, um, the, the video game coding that you would have to do to get that created. And then rewriting is something that is so important. I think that you don't do as much in high school and I'm going to encourage you to do it here, which is you actually do listen to what your audience has to say and think about making very big changes, but also think about making little tweaks. So I wanted to emphasize that the writing process is gonna to look totally different for everybody. So think about all these different things. Maybe when you're writing or composing, you do these things. Maybe you take notes before, or maybe you don't. Maybe you love making outlines, but maybe they don't help you at all. So that's not part of your process. Maybe you need to have um, your coffee. That's totally me. I have to have coffee, even if it's decaf, to do any really good writing. I need my coffee. That's probably why I sound so crazy on all of these videos. 
Um, some people really want music. Some people need complete silence. Some people want to write a total complete draft in one sitting and some people need to write it in several chunks. So your process is going to be unique to you. And sometimes you're going to do it one way and another time you're going to find you need something totally different. So I do want to emphasize, and I love these two things, is that good writing starts off as not so good. And then also your first draft might be terrible and you might be really ashamed of it, but you shouldn't be because that's okay. That's part of getting yourself to writing a good thing. So you're not a bad person if your first draft is not fantastic. In fact, you're a great person for even writing a first draft. That's the first step. You have to get something on paper. Also, you're not stupid. Nobody is immediately good at writing except for like five people on this earth and they're just like crazy magical human beings and I don't know how they do it. But most of us normal people, even if somebody writes a good thing, it's difficult and it takes time. So you're not stupid. And I do want to tell you, I, so if we were together, I would show you this in class, but I feel weird putting it on a video. But my dad is a professor of music education and he is a really great, uh, a great professor. He's really good at what he does, but he recently is trying to publish his old dissertation that he wrote. It's a biography about a musician who lived in Alabama and he asked me to revise or to look at his work and, and see if I could give some comments. And ooh, you guys, my dad's a smart guy and he has a lot of really good ideas, but this paper was bad. It was really bad. He missed so many important um, elements. He, he it was sloppy. It wasn't up to par. And it wasn't that he is a bad person or a bad writer. It's just that he needed to get something on the page first so it could be shaped up. So we talked about it and then he figured out what to do afterwards and he shaped it into something really wonderful. So just keep all of that in mind as you are working through all of your drafts of any essays. 